gonna take my fist. Watch. So hard. Oh my God. This. Ah. It looks like a hole. Spin it. Welcome back to How to Magic. Oh, 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 magic! I am your host, Evan Era. Today I'm joined with my special guest host, Tom Mabe. How you doing? And today we're showing you 10 magic tricks with your body. <laughs> so if you're ready, hit that thumbs up button for me and let's go! Okay, for this one we're going to show you how to do the cut in half man trick without a box. I gotta tell you, I'm really beside myself on this one. <laughs> That's so crazy. Absolutely insane looking illusion. As you can see, it looks like Tom is cut in half. Body is just severed at the waist. Absolutely crazy body trick. And we're gonna show you how it's done right now. Tom, what are the steps we have to do for All right, pick up some uh, girl spandex pants and uh, leggings. This shirt here. Cut all out of the back so that it can hang in the front. And you got the weights mm -hmm. right here in the front to make it hang down. So it's not following you like this. It's, it's hanging out like that. Now, so now when I bend like this, the shirt is gonna go like this. Yeah. Skip pants are like twice your size and cut holes where the calves are. In the back right here, you just mm -hmm. gotta cut them like midway. Your legs can slide into those. Kind of like cock your hips to the side. Yeah, cock your head like this. So from the back, it looks like this. We've got an example right here of how you make the top. It kind of looks like guts. This is how we did the guts. Big gap filler. It's a spray insulation. It turns out it's foam. I measure my pants. I want like 44 waist, and I just start building this up. Building this up. Half hour later, I took some red spray paint and not heavy because I want the white coming through. It looks like guts. So you're gonna take a hot glue gun to secure Secure the foam to the outside of the pants right here. Just run a bead of hot glue around the pants and you're just gonna glue that to the edge of your foam. Got the legs cut out on the pants. Got your whole foam rig up in there. So you can keep this shirt with the pants and your whole rig like bundled up, ready to use it. $3.50, spray paint, three bucks. It seems like a really elaborate illusion you've got going on here, but really you created this for what, like $5 or less? About six bucks or less. Six dollars. So I took some old clothes. And that is how you make it look like you cut yourself in half. Okay, this one is the magic curtain trick. Let's take a look. So you're gonna take your curtain, show behind it, nothing there. You're gonna hold your curtain like this and watch. Mm. Okay, how are you doing it? How are you doing it? And if you hold it up to your chest, you can actually see your heartbeat. And lastly, mm. Mm. he's nuts over this trick. <laughs> All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal the secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple and we'll teach you how it's done right now. But, dude, I, I still can't figure out how in the world you did this. How did you? So you're gonna take your fake hand that's going to grip onto your dowel rod right there. From the front, it looks like you have two hands on the rod. You've actually got your third hand free to make the ball float, to feed yourself food, make your heart beat. I get an epidural, please. Can someone give me a... I just took like some black fabric and stapled it on there. Super easy to make. So there you go, guys. That is how you do the magic curtain trick. So you're like, all right, check this out. I want to show you a cool trick with my eye. Watch my eye. Ah. 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 Oh gosh. Oh gosh, it came all the way out. Watch, watch, watch. It's okay. Woo, we're good. Want to learn the secret? Keep this. All you need is a fake eyeball and I will teach you how to make this thing right now. Okay, so here's what you'll need. Some fake plastic eyeballs. You can get a bag of these things for like $2.50. And the other thing you're gonna need is some liquid latex. So you're gonna take your fake eyeball and you're gonna use the liquid latex to make the fake eye guts coming off the back of it. So you're gonna take a piece of paper and you're just gonna pour a little bit of your liquid latex out, just like so. And you're gonna take your fake eyeball and just kind of sit it right there in the liquid latex. Now we're gonna take a Q-tip and kind of push the liquid latex up onto the eyeball so that when it dries the latex adheres to the plastic of the eyeball and it sticks in place. So once you've got the liquid latex in place you're just gonna let this dry and then come back to it for your next step. Okay so once your latex is dried you're gonna carefully remove it from the paper. Okay, so once you've removed the latex from the paper, your next step is to cut this latex into strips. So it kind of looks like eye guts. You want to make it kind of jagged and not perfectly straight lines. All right, so we have got our eyeball with our eye guts coming off of it. Our last step is to touch this part up with a little bit of red marker paint or fake blood to make it look more realistic. So 
So you can also get one of these super realistic fake eyeball props. These are used for movie special effects and stuff like that. A little bit more expensive option, but it does look more realistic. And that is the magic eyeball trick. All right, David, check this out. I'm gonna show you a cool magic trick. Watch. I just take my tooth like this. <laughs> look, my tooth. <laughs> what is for the tooth fairy? I need money. <laughs> All right, wanna learn the secret? Here's how it's done. Okay, so here is what you will need to pull off this trick. You will need some of this. It's called Tooth Out. Not a paid sponsorship or a brand deal. This is a special type of black wax that they use in movies, and it makes it look like your teeth magically disappear. We're gonna open this up. There's our little thing of tooth wax, and you're just gonna get a dab of that on your finger like so, and then as you're pulling the tooth out, you're rubbing it right on that front tooth. And that is what is creating the illusion that the tooth is gone in your mouth. And now the second part, the piece of the tooth in your hand. All we're using for that is a piece of a breath mint. Also not a paid sponsorship or brand deal. So you're gonna take a breath mint, Smash a little piece off about the size of a tooth, and you're good to go. The rest is all just acting. Ah, pull it out, show the tooth right here. Everybody's gonna freak out. And that is how you do the magic tooth trick. For this crazy body trick, you're gonna make it look like a hole appears in your hand. Let's check it out. So you're gonna say, hey, check this out. I can do something really cool with my hands. If I just rub like this, look. It looks like a hole just appears right in the middle of my hand. Okay, your first step here is to get a black background. You want this to be as dark black as possible. And your second step is to get a black magic marker, permanent marker, and you're going to draw the hole on your hand like so. So as you can see, as you get the hole drawn in with black, the illusion will start to take form and it looks like there is a hole through your hand. Okay, now to enhance this a little bit, you're just gonna add a little bit of red to the outside, make it look like blood, or theoretically, if there was a genuine hole through your hand, it would probably have a little bit of blood. So periodically throughout this process, you may need to take your markers, color on some paper again to get the ink flowing because the oil in your skin will kind of cause them to freeze up. So you're just gonna continue adding some red. And there are people out there who get extremely artistic and detailed with this. I'm just showing you an extremely simple version that you can do at home, quick and easy. A major key to this is watching the lighting and making sure you don't get any reflection on your hole. The only downside to this trick is washing this off. But with enough soap and scrubbing, it will eventually come off. And that is how you do the magic hole through the hand trick. Okay, this one is the magic box. Magic trick. box, man! Let's check it out. So you're gonna take your magic box, put it on your head like so, and watch. I spin it. Shut the head up! Shut the head up! You're freaking me out right now, man! All right, guys, the secret to this trick is extremely simple, and we'll teach you how it's done right now. Okay, so here's what you'll need. A cardboard box. Fold up the box, and then your first step is to cut a hole on one side of it. Just like that. You wanna make sure you get a box that is big enough to accommodate your head. So all you do is put the box on your head, and you're going to turn the box this way, turn your head to the left, moving with the box, Keep rotating it all the way around. And when it comes back on the other side, you wanna have your head in position rotated <laughs> so that it looks like you've rotated your head 360 That's degrees. That's awesome. So basically the movement that is happening inside the box is this. As I'm turning the box this way, I'm just turning my head all the way to the side. And as I'm rotating it around, I'm turning my head back into this direction so that when I turn the box, it looks like my head is spun a full 360 degrees with the box. Dude, my head is spinning right now. That is crazy. And that is how you do the magic box. Okay, for this magic body trick, you're gonna make it look and sound like you break your leg. Let's check it out. You're like, oh man, my leg is killing me. When I bend it in like this. Oh. Okay, here is the secret. A plastic bottle, and all you're gonna do with this is tuck it down into the waistband of your pants. Cover it with your shirt. So at the same time that I turn my leg sideways to make it look like it's breaking, I'm crunching that bottle with my arm. And that is how you do the magic broken leg trick. All right, for this magic trick, you're gonna Bruce Lee your fist through somebody's chest. Let's check it out. Tom, can I show you a magic trick? Yeah, what's up, man? Okay, cool, I'm gonna take my fist, watch. Don't hurt me. Please. Two, one. Oh. Yeah. Woo! How you feel? A little hard part, I'm not gonna lie. We'll show you how that's done right now. Okay, so what you're gonna need for this is a fake hand. You get these in a novelty shop, you can also buy them online. Tom is going to slide his arm inside his jacket 
and the arm that comes out of the front is actually his arm, not mine. So Tom is sliding his arm inside his shirt like so. That is what's coming out of his chest. When my hand contacts Tom's back, I'm just bending my elbow in, kind of hiding my arm behind his back. His hand is simultaneously coming out of the front of his shirt, making it look like my arm and hand just passed right through him. Now that Tom has got his arm inside and ready to go, let me see your hand poke out of there. There we go. Now that he's got it in there and ready to go, we're gonna take the hand and feed it into the sleeve. So now you've got your fake hand in the sleeve, so it looks totally legit. You can also stuff the sleeve of the coat with some tissue paper, with foam or something like that to make it look like there's a full arm in there. So you're gonna take some tape and actually tape the hand inside the sleeve so it doesn't just fall out. Run it around the inside of this cuff. So at a glance that totally looks normal and that is how you do the magic hand through the chest trick. Okay, for this magic trick you're gonna really freak some people out by making them think you hurt your finger. And the cool thing is all you need for this magic trick is a 2 by 4 and some double sided nails. Let's check it out. Oh, dude. Oh, oh. God. Okay, here's the secret. Ah, so you took some <laughs> cutters and cut the top and bottom. Let me show you guys how to do this. So you take one of these big staples, you're going to drive that into your 2x4 like this. Take some wire cutters like this, and you're going to cut out a section of the staple. Like that. So once you have the little piece cut out, slide your finger right in that gap, and now it really creates convincing illusion that the nail's going through your finger, but how do we enhance it, Tom? Add a little blood to that bad boy. If you don't have fake blood, you can use red nail polish or something like that. It's gonna take a little dot of it and just go right around where the wound is, like right there. And that's just gonna sell it that much more that that staple is right through your finger. Perfect to freak some people out that you have seriously injured your body. It really looks convincing, wow. And that is how you do the staple finger trick. All right guys, it is giveaway time. I'm giving away five packs of the Magic Tooth Wax to five lucky comments in the comment section below. So leave a comment on this video, leave a crazy, funny, random comment, something that we can all laugh at. You can leave unlimited comments, leave as many comments as you want, and I will pick five comments from the comment section, and I'll mail you your very own Magic Tooth Wax so that you can do the trick at home. All right guys, that is it. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, hit that thumbs up button for me. Be sure to share it on your Facebook or Twitter. Text or email it to a friend. You know what to do. Be sure to check out the video we did on Tom's channel. Link is in the description. Go subscribe to Tom's channel. There's also a link in the description for that. There's a mobile card. Be sure to show him some love. Seriously, go subscribe to Maven America. There's a link in the description. Go show him some love. Check out the video we did on his channel. It's super funny. Lots of other good stuff there too. Check it out. Love you guys. Thanks so much. All right guys, I'm actually going to be at Playlist Live in Washington DC. So if you're going to that, keep an eye out for me. Until next time, thank you for coming back to Evan Era TV. TV where anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Life and life, baby! Alright guys, it's time to announce the giveaway winners from the last How To Magic video. The winners of the prank ice cream cone shooters are these five names right here. Check your YouTube messages. Congratulations to our winners. Thank you to